you can read in almost any farm magazine anymore. The number one talk in a lot of agriculture today is about soil health, which in turn leads to plant health. Well, I can promise you, you will not have a healthy soil unless you have good drainage. So today we're going to talk about drain tile and its impact on soil health. Soils Class 101 tells you that you need 50% dirt, 25% air, and 25% water. And coming from a drier part of the country, we're always concerned about having enough water. But you can certainly have too much water. And when you get soils that are saturated, it forces the air out of the soil. So the obvious thing for plant health and soil health is to have plenty of oxygen in that soil. You can control it with drainage tile. What it really comes down to is water table management. We want lots of water in the soil, but we also need that air in the soil. So ideally, especially in our part of the world where we don't get a lot of rainfall, we're typically talking about keeping the water table at about three feet deep. So in other areas of the country where they get lots of rainfall, they might want the water table down at four feet or five feet deep. So then when they get a big rain, they have capacity and the water table can rise and it's still not killing the roots. That's the real concern here. And I look at on our farm too. Yes, we are in a dry area of the country, but in almost every one of our fields, almost every single spring, we're cold and we're wet. Well, first of all, on the wet side, why are we wet? The water table has risen a lot of times between fall, winter, and early spring. We get a lot of moisture during those times, especially snow and snow melt. So we have a high water table. We can't have that. We want some oxygen in there. When we look overall at heat and we say, hey, we have cold soils in the spring, I just want you to think about this for a second. What warms up faster, air or water? Well, obviously the air is going to warm up a lot faster than water. So if we have the water table down and we have at least 25% air or oxygen in our soil, well, that's going to warm up a lot faster than if that soil was 100% filled with water. Once that soil begins to warm up, the soil microbes can start working. And when you think about it, if you've got good levels of oxygen in the soil, now all those little microbes can thrive. If you get saturated soils, your pH normally tends to go up. You accumulate salts and other things that should naturally flush out. It's a bad situation for soil microbes. We need those little microbes working to break down residue, to help with nutrient availability and the health of our crops. When we go from soil health to thinking about plant health, I look at two things, disease and drought. So in terms of disease, if you have a wetter soil and that water table has been higher, you are going to have more disease issues. Not only because there's more water around, but also because your root system has been damaged, your plant isn't maximizing its potential, and therefore it isn't able to fight off diseases like it could. In terms of the drought side, I know it seems counterintuitive when I say I want to lower the water table so I make my plant more drought tolerant. You might say, what? I want more water in the soil. No, you don't. You want that water table down. You want those roots to go deep fast. In the spring, if you can get your roots down as quickly as possible, down to two and three feet deep, well now when the drier times come later in the summer, you've got those deep roots. They are established and they're able to pull up moisture from down deep in the soil. You also have a bigger root system, so you're less susceptible to insect feeding. Maybe it's wire worms, maybe it's corn root worms. Who knows what your crop is, but bugs, if you have a limited root system, well, any loss to that root system is a big hit to the plant. The other thing is, if you don't have much of a root system, you're more prone to lodging and other issues in the season, other severe weather events. So getting that root system developed and getting it deep is very, very important. So we really encourage you, take a look at the practice of drain tile on your farm. It's been unbelievably helpful for our yields. It's one of the best things you can do for the environment if you tile correctly. And all I can say is, hey, we've got way healthier soils than we've ever had before, and that's thanks in part to drain tile. One other benefit to tile is you can get out in the field to control our weed of the week on a timely basis, which you will need to do. Can you identify this week's weed? <music>